X mode. Okay, let's see. We are going to start right now. Everybody got to connect pretty soon today for this very interesting class. And we will see who's the first to connect. But we also need to prepare the platform for the activity for today, which is the final exam which we are not going to solve, but we are going to go over a little bit just to check it out. So let's it is recording already. So we'll see. Let's check out that the recording is going correctly. Okie dokie, we are going to have fun tonight. Just a few minutes to start the class. And we are going to have a very, very interesting class to
Okay. Let's see, it's time already. We're waiting. There's a lot Adonai, good evening. Hey, hello, teacher. How are you? Well, I was worried because nobody appeared. <laughs> I, I see that. <laughs> it's the last day. Yeah, people is flunking out. I think so, but it is very good day. Eh, don't worry, don't worry. We are going to make a general review of everything. And we have, we are going to check some important aspects from the previous presentations, the PowerPoint presentations from the classes, so we can like uh, review, practice, clarify doubts. But right now, tell me, Adonai, how are you? How was your day? Uh, oh, my day is very good. It was uh, very hard uh, and very fast in my office, but good. What did you do today? Um, I'm finished the, how do you say, uh, uh, the training of the new people today. Oh, really? You finished training? Yeah. Uh, the next week, the new personnel uh, start to answer calls in the call center. Okay. When you have the verb start, after the verb start, you place a verb in ing. Wow. Después del verbo start, tenemos un verbo en ing, pero se entiende como que fuera en su forma simple. They start answering. Ah, okay, answering. Okay. Okay, understand. And what you're meaning is, comienzan a contestar. But ah, okay. after the verb start, finish, after the verb go, Okay, okay. Because another verb, that verb is in ing form. The ing form, I, I understand, thank you. You're welcome, you're welcome. So hey teacher, to, today is the last uh, class. Yes, today is your last class with me, guys. E for the another course, you are our teacher. Well, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> you should ask the people from the company, they can they can give you an idea if I'm going to be with you or if they are going to assign somebody else. Because sometimes, yeah. sometimes they rotate us because it's better for you if you listen to different accents. But your class is very good. Um, I like you. How do you... Uh, ¿Cómo llevas la clase? Yes, I know. Thank you, thank you. Every teacher got a different style. And as I tell you, Sometimes we stay with a group like two or three levels tops and then we rotate. Sometimes they change us according to the inscription also. Ah, okay, okay, you thank you. paperwork already? Yeah, you sent the paperwork like two weeks ago, no? Yes, yes, two weeks ago. Okay, perfect. So you're going to continue? Yes, I continue. Excellent, excellent. Well, thank you, Donai. Okay, thank you, teacher. Oh, I am safe. There's more people here. Hello, Sylvia. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. You had me worried, guys. Nobody was appearing, and I was like, oh, no, nobody's going to be here. <laughs> but tell me, Sylvia, how are you today? Fine, teacher. Thank hey, you. You look relaxed today. Yes. Very <laughs> close to tomorrow is Saturday. Yes. <laughs> Tomorrow, do you work just half the day or the full day? Half the day. Half the day. Oh, that's yes. the reason. That's the reason. That's why Phil is like, yeah, tomorrow is piece of cake. Um, ¿Cómo se dice? Hoy tratamos de salir más temprano con el transporte también y eso, ah, eso me ayudó bastante. So, we, uh, you got home earlier today. Uh, yes, yes. Oh, that's mm -hmm. excellent. That's excellent. So you have more time to relax. Yes. <laughs> that's nice. That's mm -hmm. nice. When we take off all the clothes, relax, get a picture <laughs> or something like that. It's yes. good. Well, today we're going to have a very interesting class. Let's see. Well, thank you, Sylvia. 
Good evening, teacher. How are you, Vicky? Fine, teacher. Thanks. How was your day, Vicky? Tell me. I was in a baby shower. Oh, really? In the morning, yes. At 7 o'clock. Oh, a co-worker. Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. And then I worked. I don't like baby showers. <laughs> But they are not for guys, they are for ladies. <laughs> so tell me, tell me, tell me. Uh, oh, I got an, a beautiful phrase for you. Let's see. Yes. When is the baby due? Look at in the chat. When is the baby due? What is the meaning do? do. Para cuando está. Para cuando es la fecha. Ah. When is the baby due? Um, okay. In December. Ah, in this, and the baby shower. First shop. week. Ah, no. Today's the baby shower. Baby shower right now and the baby is yes. December. Wow. Okay. In the morning. Very interesting, very interesting. Yes. Mm -hmm. ah, thank you, Vicky. Okay. With that phrase that I gave you, uh, sometimes when you have like present a report or a homework, uh, let's see, all those situations, they have a due date. Look, mm -hmm. a due date. That's the... Mm -hmm. Fecha de entrega, the due date. Well, thanks, Vicky. Let's see, Francisco. Good evening, Francisco. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Ready uh, for your last class? Yes, teacher. Ready. Okay. I'm very well, teacher. Excellent. How was your day, Mister? Mm, this day was relaxed, teacher. Oh, really? Yes, because on weekend. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I was a celebrity a birthday for a co-worker, but very relaxed. Wow, Vicky was in a baby shower, Francisco in a birthday, Adonai, let's see, Adonai finished the training, Sylvia got home early, everybody had a good day. Wow, that's yes. nice, that's nice. Thank you, Francisco. Okay, teacher. Let's see, Vanessa, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Tell me, how was your day? I am okay. Okay. Fine. Fine. The same routine? Yes. Yes. Okay. What time did you get home today? At. Uh, I got home. Uh, sorry? I got home. I got home at six. Six. Oh, okay. That means that you're relaxed. You're yes. Have dinner ready? Yes. Oh, nice. But nice. very simple. And sandwichito. Okay, a sandwich. Nice. Yes. Oh, that's nice. Sometimes. Nice. Sometimes in my house, that's what we prepare for dinner. We don't feel like preparing something like special, a little sandwich, and no problem. Yes. That's me too. Nice. For me, something simple like some scrambled legs you know uh, some beans cheese cream and uh, typical typical no salvadorian sí? yeah. typical salvadorian yeah no actually in, in my house it depends on the mood sometimes we get like special sometimes we don't okay guys during the class i'm sorry for this but i am taking tea for my throat okay I'm okay sorry. Well, thank you, Vanessa. Thank you, teacher. Roxana, good evening. Welcome. Good evening, teacher. How are you tonight? Um, I'm tired. Tired? Yes. You had a hard day? Today I had a lot of work. Oh, really? Many activities to perform? Uh, yes. Uh, and I have a lot of work. Okay. 
No. <laughs> okay, well, sometimes that's cool because, I mean, when you have different activities, when you realize, wow, you say it's time to go home. Yes, teacher, what is perform? Many activities. Uh, desarrollar. Realizar. Ah, okay. 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 I have, ¿cómo sería? I have many activities to perform. I have, I have many activities to perform. Yes. Okay. Well, thank you, Roxana. Okay. Okay, guys, let's start because we have a lot to cover today. Let's see, let's see. We are going to start with this. Let's remember. Do you remember this class? It was one of the very, very first classes. Yeah, the first class, actually. Okay, do you remember the, men, the months of the year? That's something that we were with. But what I want you to focus on is the date. Do you remember? Like, when is your birthday? In my case, my birthday is on December 17th. When is your birthday, Adonai? My birthday is on uh, November 4th. November the 4th. Okay, okay. What about you? Thank you. When is your birthday, uh, Francisco? Oh, uh, my birthday is on June 18th. 18th. Remember, 18th. Okay, 18th. Perfect. Recuérdense que como una Z al final, okay? Silvia, what about you? When is your birthday, Silvia? My birthday is uh, May uh, 18. On May 18, perfect. Vicky, what about you? When is your birthday, Vicky? My birthday is on October 5th. Okay, excellent. October 5th. Okay, now, let's see. Do you remember the numbers? We have one, two, three, but this is what matters to us because we are talking about dates. Remember, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth, thirteenth, fourteenth, fifteenth, sixteenth, seventeenth, eighteenth. See, let me move this. Nineteenth. 20th, 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 30th. And you remember that after the 20, you just change the last number, okay? The unit. You see? 30, first. This is what changes, just the first. 32nd, 33rd, okay? Okay. And this was an activity that we did. We are not going to perform it. Just let me get out of here. So let's see, Vanessa, when is your birthday? Like. Vanessa. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> want to turn on the microphone. My birthday is on December 26th. Okay, December 26th. Wow. Wow. My birthday is December 17th, so we are <laughs> very close. Yes. <laughs> Just that I, well, I am older than you, so I'm ahead a couple of years. No, no. I, I, I am, how do you say, yes, I am 40. Hello. Hello, hello. 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 No, I'm telling you that I am 40. I am, ah, but no, how do you say no parece? Oh, you don't look. <laughs> yes. Oh, that's because you cannot see my white hair right here. I got a lot of white hair, even in the third. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. The expression that you asked me for is, actually it is, you don't look like. You don't look like. The correct expression is you don't look like it. With an it mm -hmm. end. But when we are speaking, we just say you don't look like. Okay? 
Now let's see. Right. Okay. Vanessa. Roxana, when you okay. Okay. You call me. July thirteenth. My birthday is on. Uh, my birthday is on July thirteenth. Okay. No me cuesta. Thirteenth. Oh, thirteen. Tres. Tres. Thirteen. 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 Okay, okay. Let's see. Let's see. It. Let's try something. Tell me. Dígame cómo me escuchan mejor. Con este micrófono. O con este. Con este. Con este. Con este. Okay. Perfect. Excellent. Because I have two different microphones, okay? In order not to have problems. So let's see, let's see, let's see. That was from the very beginning. Now, let's review another topic, a big topic that we went over in this course. Let's see, that was number one. Now let's check this one. Okay, guys, oops. This is, this is, this is, this is, let me see. Yes. Do you remember? Oh no, this was class 11. This is not yet. Hold on, hold on. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, my bad. That one was class 11 and the one that I wanted is class one. Mm -hmm. Oh, this one. Do you remember the big going to? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, this is what matter right now. Remember, when we use be going to, remember guys, we use be going to to talk about plans. Like um, Sylvia says, oh, I am going to invite the teacher for a cup of coffee and the teacher says, oh, delicious. You see, that's a plan, okay? to talk about intentions and to make predictions on what you see. And remember, like, I am going to play with my friends. What are you going to do tomorrow? In this case, we are talking about a plan for the future. You see, I am going to play with my friends. That's a plan. What are you going to do tomorrow? You are asking about the plans the person has for the next day. Remember, it is going to rain tonight. That's a prediction based on what you see because you need to see the clouds, okay? It's a prediction based on what you see. Remember, for the rest of predictions, we use the auxiliary will for the future, okay? Any question, guys? Do you remember this? Alguna pregunta? Recordamos esto? No questions? Perfect. Let's see. Just hold on that I need. Okay. We have this here. Just give me a second. Just so I can see who's connected and who's not. Perfect. Now, the structure, remember, oops, remember the structure. I am going to play with my friends. You are going to dance tomorrow. He is going to marry her. We have the subject. Remember, the subject can be a noun or a pronoun. We have the be going to, I'm going to, are going to, is going to. Remember, this is working as an auxiliary because the main verb is here, okay? So imagine that you are talking about the verb go, like uh, I am going to go to a party, okay? Remember that it's different than if you say I am going to a party. If you say I am going to a party, you are talking about something that is happening right now. But if you say I am going to go to a party, you are referring to the future, okay? and you are talking about plans. Do 
you remember that? Any question about that topic? Alguna duda con este tema? No, teacher. No, no teacher. Okay, night. Tell me, what are you going to do tomorrow? I'm going to go my job in the morning. Okay, Adonai. Now tell me with the other pronunciation, with the contraction of going to. The same I, sentence. I'm gonna go to my job in the morning. Perfect. So let's see, Roxana, what are you going to do tomorrow at night? At night, I'm going to watch a movie. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Sylvia, tell me, what are you going to do Sunday morning? I am going to sleep at uh, 10. All morning. Okay. <laughs> I am going to sleep. Remember, I am going to sleep until 10. Hasta, until. Um, Perfect. Let's see, Angelica, what are you going to do on Sunday? I am going to exercise. Perfect. Very well. Thank you. Okay. Vanessa, what are you going to do today after class? Uh, after class, I am going to go to bed. Go to bed. <laughs> go to bed. Yeah, go a bed. Uh -uh. Go to bed. <laughs> go to bed. Okay. At early? At nine? Wow. That's, that's unbelievable yes. for me. I go to sleep around 12 or 1. Probably, teacher, probably I'm going to go a uh, uh, see, see TV. No, watch TV. At I watch night. TV, probably. But if not, you're going to sleep. Yes, yes. Okay, thank you, thank you. So if you see, remember, we use it to talk. The be going to, we use it when we talk about intentions, plans, or predictions. But the predictions based on what you see, okay? Like today, it was cloudy. Oh, yes, to one of level. So in the afternoon, I said, mm, it is going to rain tonight. Because I was watching that the sky was cloudy. Okay? The other day, you know, the birds passed by. El otro día pasaron los, los pájaros. Uh, what is the name of those birds? Asaquane. And somebody Asaquane. told me, oh, yes. And somebody told me, hey, you know, winter is going to end soon. It's a prediction based on what they saw because they saw the birds passing by and they say, oh, winter is going to finish very soon. It's a prediction, okay? Any question about the big going to? Alguna pregunta con el big going to? No? Okay, perfect. So, Mr. Carlos Cruz, tell me, what are you going to do on Sunday? Sorry, teacher. I don't listen to you. What are you going to do on Sunday morning? Sunday morning, maybe I'm going to job. I'm going to work. To work, yes. Oh, really? Wow. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> me too. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. I can imagine. Well, you can tell me me more. What? También pudo haberme dicho me more. Yo más. Okay. Me more. Yeah. Yeah, let's see. Sunday morning, what am I going to be doing? Oh, man. I'm sorry to tell you, Carlos, but I'm going to be like Sylvia, sleeping late. Tomorrow? No, on Sunday morning. No, tomorrow I got to go teach a class. No, I'm... Yo, yo, descansar. Rest? 
Okay, tomorrow rest. Oh, tomorrow is your resting day. Oh, that's interesting. That's very interesting. Well, thank you, Carlos. If you see, the B going to is very simple. And remember what I told you about the structure, guys. Let me see. Well, I have. Uh, no, we need it. Okay, okay. This is what I need to close. Just give me a second. Then I need to close this. Okay, perfect. So, if you remember, when we were talking about the be going to, we make some uh, some questions. Like, let's see, Vanessa, tell me, are you going to cook uh, this coming Sunday? Are you going to cook lunch? Uh, no, I, no, I don't. No, I am not. No, no, I am not. Remember, because the question uses the verb be. Mm -hmm. Are you going to? Mm -hmm. So the short negative question is, no, I am no, not. I am not. Okay. The affirmative will be, yes, I am. Okay. 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 okay let's see. Let's see who else, who else. Um, Adonai. Tell me, teacher. Are you going to go out on Sunday? No, I'm going no. I'm going to stay in my home. Okay. Who cooks in your house? Me. Okay, tell me, what are you going to cook on Sunday I, for lunch? I'm going to cook a soup of chicken. A chicken soup? A chicken soup. Oh, really? Nice. Yeah. Delicious. Really good. I, pre I prepare good ones. I can give you my receipt. Le puedo dar mi receta. I prepared some perfect chicken soup. I get a maruchan and I pour <laughs> some water on it. That's <laughs> very good. No, well, teacher. I, I get Maggie. I get, the, I get the, the water. I put it in the microwave. I push a bottom and then I just put it. Delicious. <laughs> okay, thank you, teacher. Okay, so if you see, when we answer, uh, I am asking you about plans. Now, let's move on. Let's remember something else that we work with. Recordemos algo más de lo que hemos trabajado, okay? Let's see, that was class three. Okay. Okay, do you remember, guys? The simple past. Okay, do you remember for regular and irregular verbs, the simple past uses the same structure. The affirmative, subject, verb in past, complement. You worked very hard. The negative. She did not dance with me. Subject, auxiliary, negation, not. The verb in the base form, el verbo en su forma base, then the complement. She did not dance with me. That's for negative. Look at the next example. We did not work yesterday. Now, the interrogative form. Did you go to London? And then, did they work at home? Remember that this structure applies for all the verbs with the exception of the verb be. Why? Because for the verb be, if you remember, you just need the subject, the verb in past, and the complement. But with the verb be, there's no auxiliary. When making negative sentence, no, nor when making interrogative sentences, okay? With the verb be, 
did is not used. Con el verbo ser o estar, no usamos did. We use was or were, ¿ok? So, if you see, it's very simple, but today we also have a practice, ¿ok? We are going to practice right now. I have a short and simple question that you are going to ask your partner. I'm going to pass by the groups, listening to what you are saying. And the question is very simple. And it's also going to help me to know if we did good or not. The question is, what did you learn in this course? So you're going to tell, to ask your partner and you're going to answer, okay? Any question? You can get the, you can see the question. Podemos ver la pregunta. What did you learn in this course? I need you, please guys, try to use English. Sometimes when I get to the, to the breakout rooms, I get some people speaking Spanish. Okay, and remember, this is English class. So let's see, we are going to get the groups and so I can be with you more time. I'm just going to create three groups of three persons, okay? So let's jump in, please. Who came out? Okay, please get in. You already got the invitation. Um, not I, <laughs> I, I just I, said I, was and where. Okay. Give him an example, please. <laughs> um, I was celebrity. Uh, baby shower today. Oh, then oh, in the morning because we celebrated. Ah, uh, we celebrated. Or you can say, I was at a baby shower today in the morning. Ah, okay. I was to baby shower. At a baby shower. At, at baby shower. Okay, perfect. Continue, guys. Please uh, tell me. Eh, podrías decirme nuevamente lo que vamos a trabajar es que estoy todavía atendiendo unas cosas del trabajo y me distraje ok, you, you are going to use the simple path you are going to tell okay. your partner what did you learn in this course le va a contar a su compañera que aprendió en este curso but if you say, oh I learned to use the path of the verb be what and where give her one example, Carlos ok, okay. let's make it interesting and Silvia has to give you an example. Mm. Silvia también tiene que darle un ejemplo de lo que ha aprendido. So she needs to speak in English. Okay? I'll be back. And you, Marina? In my no. case... No. Hello? <laughs> in my... In my case, I uh, I learned uh, uh, how do you say tengo claro, teacher? I am clear I with. I clear. I'm sorry. I am clear with. I am clear the the question when, where, and what, but uh, okay, I, am example, I, I am oh, confused. I am confused. No, no, no. It, you're clear, but you're confused. No, eh, before I am confused. Oh, uh -huh. I, was, I was. I was. I was. I am oh, confused. Come on. But you in this course, the verb be. <laughs> yes, uh, the verb be. Uh, 
I am attend the course, but the verb be, um, uh, how do you say me cuesta? But, but, but I am there. It's hard for me. Okay, give me an example of the WH questions that you learned. Uh, the when, when. Uh, uh, okay, give I, me an example. Uh, Ask me a question. When, when do you, no, when. Uh, what did you? Hello? When what? When do you learn English? When did? did when did, did you learn English? Wow, I learned English around, well, to speak it like fluently, around 1998, yeah. a long while ago, but I, I really, really shaped up my English at the university, cool, but then uh, five years after I finished the university and five years after a period of five years, in a period of five years, when I finished the university, I was working with an American community. I Which university? With, I studied at Pedagogica. Ah. And I studied at Pedagogica. I taught, también de clases, at Pedagogica. And I have taught also at Don Bosco. And, but for a period of five years, I was working with Americans. Por cinco mm -hmm. años estuve trabajando con americanos. Ok. So, uh, that helped me out a lot, mm -hmm. actually. Mm -hmm. Ok. But I need to go check the other guys. Please be sure that Adonai gives examples of what he learned. <laughs> I tell. I told. <laughs> I told. <laughs> Remember, in fact, I'm back. It's a difficult for all. You can Finish. memorize the pair. Yes. Yeah, but remember that I told you, don't try to get all the birds. Step by step, slowly get four, five, try to get two, mm -hmm. three a day. Okay? Yes. yes. Okay. It's a good practice. Uh, um, you finish? Do, do. Yes. Okay. So in 60 seconds, we go back. Remember that you will tell examples of what you learned. Okay, we are back. Let's see. Some people is still there. The group number three is completely there. So let's see, Carlos. Hello, Carlos, how are you? Hello, I work, I work. I estoy trabajando aún, pero... Okay, I won't take that much time from you. Just tell me, Carlos, tell me one thing that you learned in this course and give me one example, please. Yes, I learned uh, uh, when I might use uh, was, I okay. uh, pronu I, 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 pron I pronounce the verb in, pre in present tense. No. <laughs> Carlos, that's with deal. When we have the auxiliary deal, the verb goes in present. Okay? Okay, yes. And remember that was and where they don't follow that rule. Okay? Mm -hmm. Thank you, Carlos. Uh, Adonai, please tell me one thing. Tell me just one thing that you learned in this course and please give me an example. Adonai, hello. Can you hear me? I'm sorry, teacher. I my I mute my mic microphone. <laughs> I learned oh. I learned more about the 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 past because I don't like talking past because it's very difficult for me. 
and for everybody, for everybody, that's normal. Don't worry, that's one of the about the, the irregular verbs is very difficult. But okay, I please. give me an example of one that you remember. Uh, irregular. Yes. <laughs> oh, okay. An irregular what verb. Is, what is the auxiliary for for the simple present? Ed. No, the auxiliary for simple present. Do you remember the auxiliary for simple present? Auxiliary for simple present. Deal. That's for simple past. Okay. <laughs> I'm and in present? And in present? Do. Do. Perfect, Carlos. Thank you. So that's an irregular verb because you see, in present, do. In past, did. You see? That's okay. one that you know. That's one <laughs> that you know. Like the verb go. Tell me the simple past of the verb go, Adonai. Goes. Past. <laughs> go. Went. 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 Remember. Remember what I told you the other day in the class. If you want to learn the verbs, don't try to learn them all. Just choose two or three a day. But put them into practice. Make sentences, okay? Set like two, three minutes to get two or three sentences, write them down, and during the day, practice them, read them. Repetition is what helps us learn in this case, okay? Thank Please, you, teacher. Thank you. No, thanks to you. Francisco, what about you? Give me one example of something that, that it was hard for you, perhaps, in this course. Okay, teacher, I was learned for the directions. Oh, uh, really? Yes, true. Yes. Uh, for example, I don't know, my house is between the Maria Hobbs and Jose Hobbs. I don't okay, know. Okay, perfect. Excellent. Yes. Yeah, yeah, remember that we say go straight, go straight on, go straight up, or go down by. And you say the name of the street? Yes. That's something that you can use, like the turn left, turn right. It's on your left, it's on your right, across from, between, behind, next to. All those prepositions help us to when we are trying to give addresses, okay? Okay, teacher. Thank you. Vanessa, tell me, what about you? Hello. I hello. learned, hello. I learned in this course uh, about more vocabulary and I learned, and I, I, I understand when you talk with, with other person, I understand okay. the conversation. But oh, for oh, me, so it, your, your listening improved. Yes. Okay. Let yeah. me write this. Let me write this sentence for you. Hold on, just a second. Your listening skill, habilidades, improved. Your listening skills improved. Yeah, actually, that's normal because. The more you listen to the language, the more you practice it, the more you understand. That's mm -hmm. normal. Okay, let's see, Sylvia, what about you? Thank you, Vanessa. I don't hear you, I barely hear you, Sylvia. I think we are having problems with the connection because you go very slowly. Let's do something so I can listen to you. Block the camera and leave the microphone open. Probemos algo para ver si le escucho. Bloquee la cámara y deje el, el micrófono abierto.
Phil, we are... I still listen to you very, very low. Let's see. Hold on, Sylvia. We are... Oh, now I can... Tell me, tell me. I think the rain is affecting. Yes. Yeah, that happens, that happens. So remember guys, let's see. First, we were working with the dates. Remember that when you are going to say on a specific day, you use on. Like, I was born on mm -hmm. December 17th. Mm -hmm. When is your birthday? Oh, my birthday is on December 17th. Remember mm -hmm. that. Remember also, guys, that then we were working with the be going to. Remember, be, the verb be, the conjugation in present is am, is, are. So, be going to works as an auxiliary. I am going to. Like, I am going to teach a class after this one. Voy a dar una clase después de esta. You see? Very simple. Like, Vanessa is not going to cook on Sunday. Adonai is going to prepare chicken soup on Sunday. If you mm. see that the be going to and the be going to is a complete auxiliary, right? Now, simple past. Remember, for all the universe of verbs, you use the auxiliary deal for negative and interrogative. The auxiliary deal and the main verb in the base form that's present. Like, I did not, I did not have dinner yet. I did not have dinner before the class. No cené antes de la clase. Okay. Teacher, I have a question. Yes, tell me. I can change uh, going for to will. Oh, remember, mister, that going to, the thing is this, that going to is used for intentions, plans, or predictions based on what you see. Lo que pasa es que cada tiempo verbal, perdón que use el español, cada tiempo verbal, Carlos, expresa una idea. Y la idea que expresamos con, cuando hablamos en futuro con el be going to es planes, intenciones o predicciones basadas en lo que veo. Entonces, si usted usa will, la idea que está dando es diferente. Porque no es lo mismo que usted diga, va a llover, a que diga, lloverá. Lloverá este año. Ok, that's a okay. prediction. That's a prediction. Teacher, But if uh, I say, yes, dígame. Intention, intention is when you don't sure about that. No está seguro que va a pasar. Well, I am going to have, let's see, I am going to have dinner after class. That's my intention. And I'm almost sure because my stomach going to be rumbling. Okay. Son intenciones. Actually, no, any future is not sure. Ningún futuro es seguro. Yeah. Okay? okay? But be going to, be going to is more probably than will. El be going to es más probable que el will. Okay? In will is when I am sure. Be going to es más probable que suceda que cuando use will. Ah, okay. Is that clear for you, Carlos? ¿Le quedó más claro or worse? Yes. I've been oh. going to... I've been going to... I win. am going to... I am going I to... Go, I'm going to win the lottery. That's... That's your intention. Okay, Remember. teacher, thanks. Okay. Remember that if the prediction is based on 
Yo os dan idea si la predicción está basada solamente en una idea, usa el will. Like you say, I will win the lottery. One day, me ganaré la lotería. Un día, you don't know when. Ok. So, okay. let's see. Before we finish, I am sure that almost all of you finished it already, but let me see where do I have it. And, oh, right here. Estoy seguro que todos ustedes ya lo hicieron, but because you told me you did. In this exercise from the platform, from the exam, you will remember that you have to listen to Helen and Mark's conversation and select the best, the best answer. In this case, it was, where are Helen and Mark going? A bank, a department store. Where is Smith's department store? This was about locations, okay? The topic that Francisco said that he is more clear. Then we have, in this case, we have the instructions. You have to look at the map in order to complete the sentence. And what were you going to use? The, these expressions in order to express the place. These are prepositions of place. In the next exercise, you have to select the best answer for each question. Were your parents born in the US? You say, no, they weren't. I grew up in Tokyo, my race, wow. I came to New York in 1998, it was a little scary. You have to choose, okay? The next exercise, okay. You have to match the verb to the nouns. Had, had a picnic, had tennis, in this case, I'm going to give you the idea. You had a picnic or uh, you played tennis because it's a sport and you keep on. Then you have complete the conversations. In this case was the simple past and you have to remember the structure. The structure, do you remember, was the auxiliary, the subject, and the verb in present or past. Okay, if you remember, it was the verb in present. In the final exercise, you have to read an article in order to complete the sentences. The one that I would advise you to work more on, and if you can, like, Practice in the platform, si pueden practicar en la plataforma más, is with the, ver with the verbs in past, okay? If you need extra information, oh, let me show you something. Aunque me pase un minutito que me espera nosotros, quiero mostrarles algo. Let's see if I remember. Okay, we, were, we come to chorus. Nos venimos a curso. If you come here, down here, si nos venimos aquí abajo, voy a usar español, disculpen. Si venimos aquí abajo donde dice centro de ayuda, usted le da centro de ayuda y le va a aparecer uh, recursos académicos. Si usted ingresa a centro de ayuda, le da recursos académicos. Usted acaba de encontrar ejercicios de grammar, pronunciation, vocabulary and e classes okay so if you come to grammar in this case you are basic there are basic grammar presentations okay usted puede accesar a ellas y estas son descargables algunas de ellas son descargables vea the present of be imperatives oh you remember the imperatives that was part of this course Los imperativos también fueron parte de este discurso. Modifiers, the future would be going to, the past of be. Okay, there's a lot of information here for you to check and you can access to this information for your class. Ese es un recurso extra que usted puede revisar. Si tiene tiempito, revíselo, vea si puede descargar algo que le pueda utilizar y le va a servir mucho. Eh, guys, it's been a pleasure for me to be with you in this course. Ha sido un placer para mí estar con ustedes en este curso. 
If you have any doubt, ah, ah. even if you are not with me, si tienen alguna duda, aunque no se termine, pregúntale. You can contact me, ok? Ok, teacher. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, teacher, for all your help. En el próximo grupo, contácteme. Tienen mi número, ok? No problem. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. I'm your teacher. Thank I'm your teacher. Thank you, teacher. For all, teacher. Oh, thanks to you. It was a pleasure, and I enjoyed this class, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you, teacher. Manténganse en contacto. Don't get lost. Yes, Bye. teacher. Thank you, Bye. teacher. Bye. 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 Bye.